Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, I am bringing you my finale on my Part Zen Cream Project Pan. This is a year long project pan where we focus on cream products in our collection. This year I have done probably average <laughs> in this project. This year, I think a majority of the months I was focusing on um, like usage goals on a lot of my pro products as opposed to getting products completely used up. So in terms of getting a decent amount of usage throughout my collection, I do think I've done an all right job at that. And this project has allowed me to rotate through a lot of my cream products in my collection that I probably wouldn't ordinarily put in project pans just out of fear of how long it would take me to pan a cream product. So it's definitely been beneficial for that aspect. Before we jump into the progress, if you are new around here, I hope you consider subscribing down below if you do enjoy watching project panning content and lots of other beauty content. I hope you'll consider subscribing down below. And without further ado, let's jump on in to the finale. Let me share with you my progress on these products that I have done throughout the last month. Like I said, average progress. I did hit one amazing achievement. We'll leave that one to the last. Uh, in terms of the other products, let's see how we went. So my Mecca Max blush stick, this one came into the project, I do believe last month. I set myself a goal of using this 50 times last month and that was before I realized that this month was going to be a finale. <laughs> so I set myself like the impossible task of using this one 50 times. When it hit the point where I realized that I was not going to be able to hit 50 uses on this one and that this month was the finale, I kind of abandoned, I kind of abandoned this product. So I only used this one three times since introducing this one. So a bit of a woeful, a, um, a bit of a woeful effort on this product. Uh, this one I think will probably bring back into the project some point next year. I'm not a massive lover of this color. I have previously done 50 uses on the highlighter stick and the bronzer stick from this collection. I do much prefer those colors and the formula on those ones. The color on this one is just a little bit off for my liking, but I would like to get some use out of it. So I will bring this one back into the project at some point next year. I'm just not quite sure when. I might give it a little bit of a break, maybe for a little bit and then bring it back in again. Um, so yeah, only three uses on that one, unfortunately. A bit disappointing. Next is my Too Faced Glitter Glue. I set myself the goal of using this one 50 times. This has been in the project for a couple of months now and I just haven't been reaching for it all that much. So this one finishes the project with seven uses on it. So I didn't really do very well at trying to hit the 50 uses. I barely even made 10 uses. Again, this might be something that I rotate in later next year just to try and get some more uses out of it. But yeah, it definitely has reminded me to reach for it. I quite often forget about this product in my collection. Um, I used it actually today to put some glitter down on my lid. So it's definitely a really good product and it still works for me. It still performs really well and it's it serves its purpose. I just always forget to use it. I always forget to use it. So seven uses on that one. Then we have my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. <laughs> Again, a woeful effort. I set myself the goal of 20 uses on this one and I only managed to make it to five uses, unfortunately. Yeah, it is what it is. I just, I just forgot. Uh, so this is how much I have left on this one. It's still got a lot of product left in there. Only five uses, so I still have 15 left to go on this one. I was hopeful that I would get this one up like over the 10 uses over the last month, but I just didn't reach for it. I forgot about it, if I'm honest. Then we have my Smashbox Contour Stick. This one I think's been in for just the month. I did, again, set myself the goal of using this one 50 times because I didn't realize that this was the, the last, 
the finale. I did manage to get 16 uses on this one. So a decent amount, I think, considering I've only had it in the rotation for a month. Uh, I did sharpen this one today after I used it. And it's at that really annoying point. I've reached this point with all of the other the other two sticks that I got in the set. Um, it's at that point where all of the silver and the black printing on the pencil are starting to rub off. Super annoying. So when I sharpened it today, I had silver like specks all of my over my hand. I don't know whether you can see, but like it turns into an absolute mess when it reaches this point. This is how much I have left on this one. And as you can see, like, I really need to, I think last time when I cleaned it, I sprayed it with some alcohol and I got like a, um, I got like a dishcloth and I kind of like scrubbed it with my, my nail to get all of the writing off. And that way, every time I sharpened it, I didn't end up with like silver specks all over my hands. It's really, really annoying. But this is how much is left on this one. I've made a reasonable amount of progress on this one. I think I've used maybe like a centimeter, maybe a little bit more. I do think I'll rotate this one in at some point next year. I do like to like rotate through my like cream blushes and cream bronzes, maybe like midway through the first half of the year. I would like to grab something else out to start off with, I think for the start of the year. And then I'll come back to this maybe after I reach my usage goal on that first product. Um, but yeah, it's so annoying. It gets oh, it's so annoying. I have um, panned two of these products already. I think I panned the contour, no, the bronzer version of this last year. And I think I panned the highlighter version of this maybe last year or the year before. I used it as an eyeshadow base. Next is the Mary Kay Oil Mattifier. I think I've had this in the project for only a month now and I've made decent progress on, on this. I think I've like halved the amount of product that's left in there. So I'm down to about here. I've used this most days uh, for my work makeup just to kind of set and mattify the T-zone. I use this under my base. I don't know whether it really does anything to like the longevity of my makeup, but I've been using it, I've got it, I don't wanna waste it, uh, and there's not much left in there. So I definitely will include this in some form of project, maybe this one, I don't know, maybe my full face project uh, very early next year, just so I can get it finally finished, completed, and rolled out of my collection. And the last product that I need to update you on is one that I hit my goal on. It took me a very long time to hit this goal, so I am very proud of myself. This is my Sydney Grace Cream Eyeshadow in Master Plan. My goal was to use this 20 times to do 20 uses on this one, and I did manage to hit that goal this past month. I'm very proud of myself that I did manage to get 20 uses out of this one. I thought that after 20 uses that it wouldn't be so like fat there in the tube. It wouldn't be so like busting at the seams, but I don't even think I've made a dint on this one. I did really like this. I really liked the formula. And once I really found a color combo that I loved and adored with this product, I flew through the uses. So at the start, it was taking me forever to get use out of this. But once I found a combo color that I really enjoyed, um, like I think I did like 12 uses on this one in one month at, at one point. So once I found the way I like to use it, I flew through it. Um, I do have a few more. I think I have another one of these Sydney Grace cream shadows. And obviously I have a shit ton of uh, Steel and Magnificent Metals. And I also have cream shadow sticks. So I think next year, my plan of attack might be to rotate through all of them and get some use out of them. I might maybe lower my number of uses though to maybe just 10 or so. And that way I can rotate through them a lot more. Otherwise, I think if I keep it at 20, it will take me a lot more months to hit that goal and I won't be rotating through as many of them. That is my finale on my Partners in Cream Project pan. Let me know down in the comments box what your favorite cream product that is in your collection or your favorite cream product that you have discovered this year is. I would love to know down there. 
<laughs> while you are down there if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you aren't already subscribed to my channel i hope you consider subscribing down below so you can keep up to date on all my project pans that are coming out in the new year that's it for this video beautiful i hope that you're having an absolutely fantastic day i hope that you are staying safe and healthy and looking after yourself and i'll see you in the next video goodbye beautiful